How about that? Jack, do you even have the words to describe what you guys were able to do tonight, coming, being down by 28 yeah. and coming back from this one? Yeah, I think it really uh, speaks to um, our, our group, the belief uh, to see it. You know, we talked about it this morning at shoot-around, just uh, kind of problem-solving, and we did that throughout the course of the game. I give our guys a lot of credit for communicating, not pointing fingers, uh, trying to figure it out, trying to problem-solve. Uh, we figured it out as the game went on, and uh, a lot of credit for our guys because I guess easy is overrated. That's what we said to our guys. We. We found a way. Uh, proud of this group and, and the way they kept fighting. You talk about problem solving. You mentioned pregame that you wanted to be able to have a lot of tools in your toolbox. What did you pull out there that allowed you guys to defensively get those stops and the offense to get, to get going? Yeah, really uh, adjusted on both ends of the floor. So defensively, uh, pretty kept it pretty simple. Uh, we ended up getting to our swi switching package, which really helped us a lot. Uh, communicated that through uh, multiple possessions. Uh, and then on the offensive end of the floor, the management by uh, Mikhail and Spencer to, to get the shots that we wanted, the formations that we wanted, and against the opponent that we wanted. So really impressive game management from them for those guys and the adjustment defensively to uh, uh, really make defense a priority, which we did after that first quarter. I mean, you you guys have largely, I mean, been switching. I'm curious what goes from not being able to get stops and regularly giving up 30 points a quarter yeah, to but, being yeah. able to kind of zone in and get stops and then be able to get out and run and get to yeah, Brian, you know, it's really, I talked about at halftime, uh, the difference between the first and the second quarter where we were more aggressive, we were playing instinctively, uh, and uh, we weren't thinking about what should we do. Um, and the first quarter, you know, we're trying to uh, manage putting in multiple defenses for our group, and um, guys are trying to figure it out. And so we uh, went back to uh, being ourselves and uh, doing simple better. And that helped us on the defensive end of the floor. Um, and then offensively, we paid off by getting out, playing with pace. Our small ball helped us to get uh, rhythm shots. And you know, as they were running back in transition, the cross match matches really paid in our, in our advantage. So um, some really good things from, from the group. Jacques, what happened to Mikhail in the third quarter with the drive on Derek Wood? And was there any, what was the conversation like of him trying to get back in the game? You know, I don't know if he uh, – I saw him and uh, Derek talking about it after, so I don't know if he bumped knees with Derek after or he hit the, the floor or the, or the photographer down low. But uh, we got him out of the game, and um, I'm learning about this group. I'm learning about Mikhail, uh, his will to win, uh, his want to get back into the game. Um, so I'm learning, learning some good things.